Now, here at Expose, we are always bringing you behind the scenes, because like us, we know you like to access all areas. So we got together recently for our biggest photo shoot to date to announce our big show in May in the RDS Expose Live. Well, we just had to bring you with us. Here's a look at what really goes on behind the scenes at an Expose photo shoot. Are you really sure we should do this? Jenny, I know you're hating this because you're used to being behind the camera. Absolutely hating it, Lorraine. <laughs> I need to ask, you What's know, that? <laughs> being the photographer, how difficult are these women to work with today? Do you know what? They're actually a piece of cake. They're lovely yeah. girls, I have to say, you know. When you got the brief of what you needed to get out of the expose crew today, how did you feel about kind of approaching the whole thing? What I wanted was everybody just to be themselves, you know, and I wanted to have a bit of fun with it because it's the first thing, it's the first image people are going to see and I wanted it to look like you're approachable because you are all so approachable and I didn't want anybody to have this, you know, image in their head that you're all divas because you're so not, you know, so you're so easy to work with. I mean, I have to say, it was a piece of cake. Well, you're looking after us very well in your new studio. Fantastic setting. Thanks a million. Yeah, I have to say, I'm really, really pleased with this, you know, and it's so central to everyone. Yeah. Sure, you're only across the way. No, too close. You'll be sorry, you know. <laughs> Two of the team of hairdressers that look after not only our hair but a whole bag load of fake hair as well, guys. Yeah, sure did. Haircuts and everything. <laughs> you may as well tell it Brilliant. as it is. Yeah. No lying about the fake hair. The plan was basically to have fun and just enjoy ourselves. And um, we were given the brief this morning, which is a very basic brief, and we just kind of played with it and, and come up with a look with a complete mix of curly, bouncy, right down to sleek. We use anything from from hair pieces to from extensions and um, wands. Hair dryers, the whole lot, everything, every tool came out today, the whole toolbox came out. Paula, you were the designer chosen today to create six magnificent red gowns. Yes, I know, it was a bit of a challenge, but I had the perfect hangers to do the job. So it was just a matter of getting the right shape, getting the right fabric to work with the shape and the designs I had in my mind. And to just go for something a little bit different on each of you girls, you know. But you did, you achieved that and it's, it's, well, for somebody like me who doesn't do what you do, it, it would seem almost impossible to get six completely different looks and shapes. Yeah, well, I wanted to get sort of simple lines, not too much detail because, you know, I don't do a lot of detail. I like good fabric, well cut, and but with a little bit of detail. Um, but each of you girls are so easy to work with in that sense. I just wanted to get sort of a different look of, on each of you, um, use a similar fabric in each of the dresses, but a slightly different look and a slightly different feel. Some of the dresses are ruched, so you need to use a taffeta. Some of them are very fitted, so you need to use a fabric that's a good support in them so no I'm absolutely delighted and they're all Irish made dresses and while I design them they're produced by Tam and Michael the company I work with and um, so I'm, I'm really really pleased really pleased. <laughs> How's it been for you the shoot? Oh it's been great we're loving every minute of it now and these are gorgeous girls to work with. <laughs> so, um, us Expose girls we're very lucky to have top stylist Sonia Mollick styling us today thank goodness for you look at the array of colours that I you know. chose first. It, what was your brief? The brief was bright and colourful so colour blocking as well to separate the different colours into with the purples and the fuchsia and the green so I think we did a fantastic job oh, we're loving it I know I know like Karen the yellow and Glenda in the green and there's the purple and the fuchsia I think it looks really really well together so how are you feeling now about looking at everybody in line and posing and and ready for the shoot well I was very happy because the girls were happy as well and then for me that means that the shoot was successful the girls are happy so it looks well.